Okay, we are at uh, section 20.7 RL circuits, uh, but I'm going to combine 20.7 and I'm sorry, 20.6 RL circuits and 20.7 energy and magnetic fields. Uh, this is two slides and the 20.7 is just one slide. So we'll get three slides total. Uh, it should be a short discussion. Let's look at the circuit here. Um, we have just a, a, a resistive circuit and we know from Kirchhoff's uh, laws that the, the uh, sum of the voltages across the circuit has to equal to zero. So we have uh, plus E coming out and then we have a minus IR uh, across the resistor. Um, and uh, so that's it for a purely resistive circuit. The delta VR is equal to minus uh, I R and now for an inductor E L is equal to the minus L D I D T the changing current. Now this is something that wants to limit the current. Um, so it opposes any growth in current because a growth in current means a growth in magnetic field and Lenz's law says it wants to oppose that. So um, I thought there was one more, uh, I guess that comes comes later. Uh, so after the switch is closed at T equals zero, the current increases toward its maximum value E uh, divided by R. So here we have a battery, a resistor, a, an inductor. We close the switch. Uh, the current is, by the growing magnetic field, the current is going to be inhibited slowly, uh, but it does finally grow to where it finally reaches the final uh, value, uh, 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 the max current of E divided by R. And the EL is equal to minus L di dt uh, tau, the time constant, which is the amount of time it takes to re reach 63% of ER is L divided by R. Remember an RC is, uh, R times C, here it's L divided by R, and I is equal to E over R times one minus E to the minus T over tau. Uh, so it's, uh, whereas a capacitor starts with maximum current and then reduces to zero, an inductor starts at zero current and then increases to max. And that's one thing to remember when we start talking about AC circuits, uh, remember these DC images. A capacitor starts with full current and goes to zero current, so it looks like an open circuit, uh, whereas a, an inductor first looks like an open circuit, but then relaxes and allows current to flow. Uh, they're opposite. If you were to plot them both on the uh, a graph, you would get, you would get this uh, crisscross um, for current. Okay, energy stored in magnetic fields. The uh, potential energy of an inductor is equal to one half the inductor times I squared. Um, the, the potential energy of a capacitor is one half C delta V squared. Um, and that's it, that's the end of the chapter. We have some, some uh, topic summaries and I'll include those. Uh, I usually include those for on the, the quiz page, but that ends chapter 20.